Hey everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to assemble this uh, CSS1 TDX. It's called a Critin 1 TDX DIY speaker kit. This one comes with six inch bass driver and three quarter of an inch uh, high frequency uh, soft dome feeder. And this is the uh, flat pack come with the kit that I already assembled and send it. So I'm gonna go through all the process, including building this standard crossover, which has a very good quality butts in there. And also I will be assembling this uh, superior crossover as well. After that, I will be assembling this uh, cabinet and all the, you know, a little closer look of uh, how I went through assembling this DIY kit, how easy it can be to do anyone or everyone can do it. I'm going to assemble it and I'm going to uh, make the uh, finer finishing and then uh, everything. I mean, this is the uh, the kit that they sell for and I'm, I, I really want to try this out. This tuning port, dome tweeter. Here is another base tuning port. And this is the nicest crossover boat that I have ever seen. Internal wirings, good quality binding post. I think this is the uh, base driver. So this is how the protection come with this uh, driver. So let me show you the side. So this is the back of the base driver. That's the uh, flat pack. So I'm going to assemble it and I'm going to finish it. And these are the uh, internal wires and binding post, uh, speaker insulation, drivers. Up front is the uh, standard crossover and upgraded crossover in the back. This is the uh, standard crossover that they supply when you purchase it. So the crossover bolts are simply uh, stated where you need to place the proper components on this boat. So it's very easy and straightforward. This is Dayton Audio Ion Co uh, inductors and this one power handling is really good. So this is how I'm going to attach it here. This is simple and straightforward. Let's attach the uh, this 2 ohm resistor first. So it should go in like this. That's it. This is how it look when you touch it. The next one is I'm going to attach the 6 ohm uh, resistors. This uh, E point resistor going to go to E point uh, capacitor on this end. I'm not sure if you notice these two A points I pointed to A point main connection area. This B points, two B points pointed to main B points, uh, B point connection areas. And this is G point. So G point is supposed to be like this. This is C point. C point is supposed to go that way. Okay. Everything is labeled and you just need to mount it. It's simple and no headache. I mean, this is the way it should be unless you are designing from scratch. So this is D point. D point is supposed to go on that side. This is E point. E is go to this way. So this is the uh, 6.2 microfarad capacitor that I'm gonna go here. This is the uh, another capacitor. So this is G, go this way. D goes here. So this is where the soldering points are. So that's the uh, standard crossover assembly. Then I'm gonna be doing the upgraded one. I'm going to start with this big boy here. Here's the two little holes, as you will see here. These two little holes, these two cables supposed to, these inductors supposed to go in here, like this. Where is B point? Okay, B point is on the all the way to the other end. So bend it that way. This is going to A point. So these are all A points. These two holes are for these capacitors, so this one should be on this side, okay? Let's get this one in. So G 
f, so these two f and three point f can connect connected here. Oh, that's good. Crossover values and network design is very same as the uh, standard, but better parts they use. Here's another high quality resistor, 6 ohm. This is 2 ohm resistor. So, G to G. C, that's it. Now you are not gonna be needing to use the zip ties on these. Cross capacitors, Jensen audio. Okay, it's right there. We just need to slide them in here, right, like this. These caps are too big for these uh, zip ties that come with the unit. So I'm gonna be using two zip ties together, like this. Unless you have a longer one, it won't go anywhere. You just need to look at the uh, E or F or whatever the point that they have here. So you just need to bend the this uh, inductor to that direction. So for now, I'm gonna point it to this F point and this E point supposed to be here, right here in the middle because here's another E point that coming here to connect it here. So I'm gonna bend it like this. Let's attach the next one. Here. This is a uh, Gen Zen Audio uh, Superior Z cap. So that's how it look, I just, Finish assembling, now I have to solder it. It's very straightforward and very simple. All you need to do is just connect the point to point connections. So that's standard and upgraded one. So this is, I'm starting at the C to C point. So C to C is done. Next is D, so let's get the D going. So this is right here. So now push it down like this. Now I'm gonna work on F. To do F, I need to trim it a little bit. It's too long. I'm gonna trim this F point. So I just trimmed that uh, F point area. So I'm going to put a little bit of solder there. So now I'm going to connect two D's. So D to D. Put some solder here. Everything is almost done. All you need is the terminal connections and some hookup wires right here. If you look at it this side, the T is for the tweeter. This N is for the input terminals, W is for the woofer, so that's all you need to attach. It's very straightforward. So let's start with the tweeter. So cable is going in like this, red to uh, positive and black to negative, something like this. So it's going to go in here and then it's going to attach to this uh, G and G and C and C. So next C is right here. So you just need to, we just need to connect with the hookup wires right here. So that's a very simple uh, connection. So let's put some solder here on. Now all we have to do is solder them together. I just need a little bit of hookup wire here. This one goes to C right here. Next thing is woofer. So before that, let me put the hookup wire here for the G point. As you can see it right here, this is what I'm gonna be connecting. So it's gonna be like three points connections for the G. In this crossover, I like to start here at the C because there is only one quick connection for the two points. 
That's it. The connection is made. D point is also very simple and straightforward. That's it. It is very quick. Then I'll be working on this F point. This coil is really big and strong coil. So I want to make sure I'm getting it right. Squeeze like this. So I'm going to attach on this end first. So this is also very simple and straightforward. Just put solder on here. Done. Now I just need to attach this. Just have to put a little bit of solder here. F point is made. Let's do this E point connections. Put some solder on. I say two E point is done and one more E point to go. So another E point is from here to here. Cut it right around here. So I'm going to cut it a little longer so we can adjust it later. This is for the G point. So from here to here to there. So it's going to be three point connection. So I'm going to start from here. Let's put some solder. So this cable is going to go from there along this edge. So we go like this. So that's how it's going to go with this hookup wire. I made these uh, cables. This, these are supplied with a kit. So one for the tweeter, one for the woofer, one for the input. So this cable is for the uh, input signals. So this is how it's going to be connected. Let me, and these three are going to connect it together. All right, connection is made. So now we can do this A point connections. Let's put some solder on and bend it like this. Squeeze them together like that. And then, so that's it. This is done. So we can cut it. Trim a little bit of this wire right around here. Then uh, I can attach it here. Attach it there. Then I continue there. Very simple and easy step. So that connection point is made. So we can. So now I can work on that end. So we're going to be doing the, this B point uh, hookup wire. For the B point connection, so B point connection will be made here. So I forgot B B have another point right here. So I'm gonna have to put some uh, hookup wire there. I'm not sure if you can see it. So this is where all the B points met, and this is E. So probably I will do the E last. So let me turn it around. So we're going to be working on this uh, tweeter connections area. So I'm going to put some solder on this uh, speaker wires. Like this. Put more solder on there. I have to squeeze it with the needle nose plier. Then uh, next thing is the woofer cable. So this woofer cable is going to come in here like this. Here we go. Put a little bit of twist and then I put some solder on. So G is done. Let me verify. So G points are all done. This is for B. Let's get to uh, B points. Now this thing needs to be turned over. This is a little tricky, so I'm gonna think we're done. Next thing is this uh, wire. So let's put some solder there. I need to do a little bit of a cleanup. That's it, we're all set. This is really nicely done design. Although my solder is not nice, but it works. So this is the look on the other side. Today I'm going to assemble this CSS1TDX flat pack cabinet. So this is the bottom 
these are two sides and this is back front and this is top and this is the uh, divider or this is the uh, reinforcement that goes here these are optional if you don't have it you can put some weights on it after you assemble it and you can strap it you know many things that you can do it doesn't have to have this kind of clamps so I just happen to have these uh, clamps so I'm gonna use it glue that I'm using is this uh, tight bone too Next one is the one that goes here on the top. So that's it. There you go. This is a mess. I put a little too much glue on here. So that's the uh, dry cabinet. In next video, I'm gonna be doing uh, finer finishing touches and putting the uh, crossover and drivers and everything together. So please stay tuned and thank you for watching.